Good morning, YouTube. So I have yet another update on the Spare 5 app. So I don't know if you've been following the other two videos that I did on Spare 5 talking about. The first video is when I first started using it and everything was great. The second video is a few shady things that are going on. Now this is the third video on Spare 5. So yesterday I got an email from them about their app. Now on my second Spare 5 video, they made a comment talking about the pictures and you know, they'll re-review them and all this good stuff. You know, and for me to do what I had already done to have them review the pictures. So I get this email from them saying that, you know, I cannot take multiple pictures of the same item. Now, when you open up the app, you can only take pictures of what they allow you to take pictures to, pictures of. Now I'm going to show you what I can take a picture of and what's already been, oh well I can't because we'll get into that in a minute. So let me show you the email that they sent um, and I think I can show you, I may still have a picture from one of my previous videos of what where it checks when the item is complete and you can't take any more pictures. Anything that doesn't have a check. I'm assuming you can still take pictures, but here's the email that they sent me yesterday. So the email that they sent me yesterday, it says, hello, Stephanie, thank you for taking part in the spare five task. I see that some of your photos were duplicates and blocked automatically. This task did not allow you to repeatedly submit pictures of the same object or submit photos that have been flagged. Uh, we will need to check your photo history for other duplicate objects. Let us know if you have any further questions. Thank you for being part of the Spare 5 community. Like I, and I responded back and I told them, I said, I only take pictures of what you all allow me to take pictures of. If every time I come in and you're saying I can take a picture of an exit sign because it hasn't been cleared out of your app, your issue, then I should be able to take a picture of the exit sign. I'm not sitting here taking a picture of the exit sign 20 times. When I get to work in the morning, I take the picture of the exit sign and I go about my day. I don't come back to take another exit picture unless it's available for me to take again. So I'm only doing what your app allows me to do. Okay, so let me show you what they've done now. So now they've taken all of my tasks away. So I'm not able to take any pictures. And I'm sure that they're probably not gonna give me access back anytime soon because now they need to investigate their app, which doesn't make any sense to me. As you can see, I have no tasks. I don't do the online tasks because I just really don't have time to sit and do these tasks at home. Um, they're a little time consuming and a little tedious for me, so I just don't actually have the time because I work such long long hours I'm literally away from my house any front where from 12 to 13 hours a day so by the time I get home going on the computer and doing these tasks online is just not something that I can do if I worked from home or did something like that then maybe I would have more time to do it but I just don't have time to do the the tasks on the computer so everything's gone I'm not able to participate in any tasks I can probably guarantee you a thousand percent the 337 that I've made this week um, they're not gonna pay it out because they're gonna claim it's under investigation okay so when I had access this is from a previous video it lets you know what you can and can't take a picture of because some stuff has been cleared out now the fireplace the duck and all that that's still dark so that means that I can take a picture. Um, the items that are with a check, it shows them to be completed and I'm no longer able to take a picture. Um, since I started using this app about a month ago, the bed has been on there, the refrigerator has been on there constantly. They've never gone away. I've been able to take a picture of a refrigerator, my refrigerator every single day without any issue because they're what their app is allowing me to do it. So 
again, I'm not trying to bash the company. It just seems like it's very shady the way they do stuff, which I don't understand. If you don't want to pay people to do these tasks, why have you set up this app and said that you are gonna make, are gonna let people take these pictures and pay them for them? It just does not make sense to me. So again, it's like I said in my very first video or second video, Spare 5 is great until it's not. And right now, it's not. Because I haven't done anything shady or anything like that. I think this is kind of retaliation from the second video talking about their shady methods. And then all of a sudden, you know, I get this email um, saying that they're going to re-review my stuff. Now, check it. When I initially sent the email to them, it had nothing to do with missing pictures. That was on a whole separate email, which makes me think this has a lot to do with my second video about their shady practices. Let me show you exactly what the first, what the email that I sent them was about. I'm not sure if you can see this email dated October the 11th. I asked, why have all my tasks been removed? So what they responded to versus what I actually initially sent them an email on are two different things. So again, I think it just has a lot to do with my second video about the shadiness that's going on on the app. So, um, so now I have no tasks. And I also went on their chat and sent them a message. So if you see here, you see that I went on the chat and I asked them why I was uh, why I had disappeared and um, how come I wasn't able to do tasks. And it says, "Your active eligible tasks. Why do you think you're blocked?" This was the same day that I sent the email. So you're telling me I'm not uh, well, nothing's blocked, but now all of a sudden my account's under investigation. I don't know. Um, again, just the shadiness of it all, but it is what it is. There's other apps out there um, that I'll be trying out and reviewing, and I will continue to update you on what's going on with Spare 5 and let you know what the outcome ends up being. Again, this is the review on the Spare 5 app. Uh, again, it's good until it's not, but it is what it is. Um, I'll drop the link to Spare 5 if you decide you want to download the app and try it for yourself. Um, like I said, it's good until it's not. People make a lot of money on this app. I'm not sure how when you're cut off from taking pictures, but there are some people who do. Who knows? Maybe somebody lives close and they're able to take pictures of ducks and all kinds of stuff. But um, I'll drop the link to Spare 5 in the description if you choose to go ahead and download it good for you try it out let me know what you think if you have any questions comments or anything else hit me um let me know and i'll be happy to respond